Craig Evil Knievel broke almost every bone in his body, and every time he fell from his bike, his fans felt his pain. Today, upon hearing the news of Knievel's death, an old partner and friend shared what his experiences were like helping to launch the Daredevil into history. Big hair and big air. It's hard to cross the globe and find someone who doesn't know the name Evil Knievel. Red, white, and blue striped leather outfits, death-defying jumps over cars and Mack trucks, and numerous broken shoulders, arms, legs, and ribs. All these things helped to launch this stuntman into stardom. After several years of poor health, diabetes, lung scarring, and a liver transplant, the 69-year-old died Friday in his Florida home. He was a daredevil who uh, was absolutely fearless. Absolutely. Like many fans, Don Branker from Fresno was captivated by Knievel's stunts, but he never thought he'd have the chance to be one of the organizers that would land Knievel in history books. Really, he is almost the predecessor, the godfather, if you will, of extreme sports, because what they're doing now uh, could not even be imagined. Brinker consulted with Knievel for six months, designing the jump across Snake River Canyon that would be watched by millions. But Brinker says working so closely with the controlling, yet driven daredevil, put a strain on their newly forged friendship. Whether you like him or don't like him, love him or hate him, you know, idolize him or, or wanted to kick his, you know what, he was Evil Knievel, and there'll never be another Evil Knievel. Knievel's Sky Cycle launch in the fall of 74 was not a success. The parachute deployed too early, and he never cleared the canyon. But the stunt did catapult him into superstardom as one of the world's top entertainers. Branker says he'll miss the daredevil, but the world will always have Knievel's drive to try and accomplish the impossible. And at the time, the Snake River Canyon jump captured the largest audience ever, live on ABC's Wide World of Sports, and his legacy lives on through his son, Robbie Knievel, who's also an accomplished stuntman. And all those kids who remember how they wanted to be Evil Knievel on their five-speed banana seat bikes. Exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. They all wanted to do it. Thanks, John Thomas. John Thomas. Can't you see my